Thank you, General, and I really appreciate our time this week. Um, let me ask you a couple questions. Is Osama bin Laden walking the face of the earth today? I'm sorry? Is Osama bin Laden walking the face of the no, earth today? No, sir, he's not. Have thousands of al-Qaeda fighters been taken out of the fight? Yes, sir. Has al-Qaeda mounted an, uh, a, a major attack on the homeland here in the United States? No, sir. Will you go home and remind your troops that those facts are not lost on us here in Washington? Thank you. That's very important to us, sir. Thank you, sir. I have a question about Russia. I'm very concerned that, that it's confusing. And what we saw them do in Syria, and it's not lost on us here, that they have now established, it seems like, permanent presence there in Tartus and Latakia that make uh, something that we don't have in the area, mm -hmm. makes them uh, positioned to do very nefarious things in that area going forward. I'm very concerned that in Afghanistan, now after years of, of being out, uh, they're back in there. And I'm concerned that it looks like, sir, in the north and northeast of uh, Afghanistan, is Russia it, it seems like Russia is coordinating with and helping ISIS in the north and northeast. Is that a fact, sir? Sir, we, we don't have that information. That the, we, we, we know they're overtly legitimizing the Taliban, and we have reports of support to the Taliban. Uh, but anything more than that, sir, I, I'd, I'd ask to discuss in, a, in another forum. You spoke in, I think, uh, well, it was recently in December, I think, you said that uh, you condemned the malign influence of external actors, particularly Pakistan, Russia, and Iran. You said, quote, Russia has overtly lent legitimacy to the Taliban by claiming that the Taliban is fighting ISIS. Mm -hmm. Do you believe Russia's intent in Afghanistan has anything to do with ISIS? No, sir. I think it's to undermine the United States and NATO. Thank you. General Campbell spoke or before he left over there, in, I believe in 2016, that, um, and I quote, one of the greatest tactical challenges for the Afghan security forces has been overcoming the Afghan Air Force's extremely limited organic close air support capability. I know a lot of the pilots over there, Afghan pilots, are being trained on the A-29. How is the A-29 being successful in uh, close air support in Afghanistan? Yes, sir. The A-29s were first introduced in April. We've grown our pool of pilots uh, to around 20. Uh, we have uh, eight aircraft there, and these eight aircraft have done in excess of uh, uh, 800 uh, missions. I mean, it, it's been a significant effort. And the, the uh, system that does this, though, is more than pilots and aircraft. It also involves the Afghan tactical air controllers on the ground and the Afghan maintainers back at the base. So. We have seen progress in all these areas. In fact, it's been, it's been very impressive for such a young capability. Speaking of that, you talked about training and advising below the core level earlier. Yes, um, and two areas that you've said that you're doing then is aviation and special forces. You've already talked to the special forces. In Helmand, Helmand province, you, I think you learned when you were down there helping to rebuild the 215th Corps. Is that one of the things that you came back with and learned, your forces came back and learned from that, that you have to be at the below the core level in aviation uh, training and, and assisting? Absolutely, sir. So the authorities I was granted in June to use combat enablers in support of Afghans necessitate that I be able to push advisors below the core level if we are to accurately provide uh, uh, and effectively provide and in a way that avoids civilian casualties uh, the use of these uh, assets below the core level. Sir, in, in closing, I'm about out of time, but what are the three to five things you would advise this new president uh, to consider that you need to be successful against the counterterrorism fight that you have, uh, defeating al-Qaeda, and uh, finding some solution with the Taliban in Afghanistan? Sir, uh, th thank you. The, uh, well, first, the, the viability of an enduring counterterrorism platform in Afghanistan is critically important to our national security in preventing an attack on the homeland. Uh, there are some objectives that we... Uh, would seek uh, going forward, the destruction of al-Qaeda in Afghanistan, the destruction of Islamic State in Afghanistan, uh, helping uh, the Afghans to extend their control over the population to at least 80 percent of the population going forward, working closely with the Pakistanis to eliminate or reduce sanctuary for the Taliban, Haqqani, and other groups inside Pakistan, and then working with the Afghans and the international community uh, for an Afghan-led peace and reconciliation process. I think if we can get these elements into our plan going forward, and indeed we're working on that, then we can bring this fight to a uh, successful uh, conclusion going forward that, that enables us to continue our CT efforts, but in, in an environment of a uh, prosperous, stable Afghanistan. 
Sir, thank you for your professionalism and for your leadership over there. I look to see you there soon. Thank, thank you, you Mr. Chairman. Sir.